What is up guys? Thank you very much for clicking my video. This is MPX91. So, I'm checking out this game right now. Um, after uploading the video on the unboxing the game and everything. So, here I am. I mean, everybody knows the game Two Point Hospital. And I know everybody, most of them love this game. So, I'm not going to show you the gameplay of this. I'm just going to uh, show you my thoughts on this game. Not this game, but playing this game on Nintendo Switch using the Joy-Cons. Okay, I'm actually using the Pro Controllers, but you know it's still the same using the joystick and everything. So yeah. So first of all, um, for me, I cannot play the DLC version yet because um, there are certain requirements that I need to make before I get into before I unlock it. So for example, like getting a star. I need at least one star from this island, not island, this hospital for me to be unlock Bigfoot, blah, blah, blah. You see? So right now I still need to play more of the original game, original version first before, we move, before I move on to DLC. And once I get into that DLC package, I'll definitely upload a video on that as well. So yeah, for now I have, I am playing this game and you know what happened guys? I actually played this freaking game. For like an hour and I actually recorded it but then I realized my mic setting was wrong and my voice sounded really funny so I had to delete that video and I had to play it again so I log into Nintendo again I exit the game thinking that the game was saved then I played but then when I switched it on I realized the whole game was gone too so apparently it auto saves but clearly didn't auto save even after like an hour of playing so does anybody know how to save this game manually without auto saving if I have to? Because I don't even I don't even know because yeah how to save this game and when it's auto, when it auto saves. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. After playing this game, I realized that um, honestly, playing a game if it's like RPG games like The Witcher and stuff, Joy-Con. Uh, pro controllers controllers are preferred for me honestly personal opinion but for games like this you need a very uh, what can I say you need those uh, controls for example when the game's playing like this and you want to pick up an employee employee and then move him somewhere else and for example if this guy's walking like this fast Okay, this is a patient, obviously. But for example, just imagine if this was an employee, right? This is a janitor. And I want to pick him up. You see? Even the slightest movement. Let me move the mouse here. Even the slightest movement here. This is the... Can you see? This is the center where I need to put, point this round, round white dot to there for me to pick him up. So let me put the mouse cursor here for you guys to see it clearly. So, look. I'm moving my joystick to pick him up. And I'm not even moving, I'm moving it very slowly, but it's very hard to like, kind of pick him up, you know. And you see, it's it's really hard. So this is something that I really need to get used to. And I realize you can also pause a game and then pick him up. Even then, you see, I moved a little bit and it doesn't really get there. You need to move slowly, slowly, and then pick him up like this. So yeah. For a game like this, nothing beats the mouse and the keyboard, honestly. Because for me, like look, if, we have, if I can use the mouse, I can always use him. Just move it, move it, move the camera there and click, pick him up, put it there, click, pick him up, put it there. Even rearranging the furniture and the equipment, click, move it. But for me, with this damn thing here, with the joystick, I have to move this gently move it slightly towards the left and right left and right left oh finally i can pick up a chair you know this kind of vibe <laughs> so yeah so the controlling i kind of think i think i need to get used to it more yeah and also i'm still trying to figure out how to save this damn game you know <laughs> so yeah I'm trying everything, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, I'm playing this game and 
Is the game wise, this game is already out in the market a long time ago, so I'm sure many of you know how the game is like. But yeah, so I'll definitely play this game a little bit more, and once I get to uh, meet the requirement to unlock the next DLC package to play the game there, I will definitely upload a video on that. And also, um, I will upload a video on a gameplay on uh, One Piece Pirate Warrior 4. I know it's a little bit late, but still, I just got the copy today, and I'll play it on Nintendo Switch. I'm a big fan on One Piece. I don't know if you guys are too. So yeah, I'll upload a video on One Piece Pirate Warrior 4 um, soon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. And yeah, this was my personal opinion on how the game is like playing on Nintendo Switch. But game itself, I love it. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Comment below if you guys have anything to say or any tips or anything who, who've already experienced on the Nintendo Switch gameplay. Yeah, please comment below and please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Thank you very much and I'll see you. Thank you.